great uh, new website to check out called uh, mds.com, the Global Fashion Business Journal. And for the second year in a row, they've put out a report called the Hot Retail Cities of 2019, which looks at which are the best cities around the planet to have a, a retail store. And it's pretty it's pretty interesting, right? Like the, the leading companies in the world have the best data, and they make those decisions based on uh, having data. Uh, and this report makes the astute point that brands and companies that have physical outlets or stores are going to have a competitive edge because of the data they collect in those stores, which uh, makes a whole lot of sense. Um, they go on to point out how important it is for real estate managers who are looking at different comp- looking at different cities across the world to understand uh, the characteristics of that city uh, and to understand uh, the transitions that that city is going through and has gone through to make it what it is. Uh, and they also point out that not every city is perfect for every brand, not every or every company. Not every company needs to have a physical outlet in every city, um, but there are certainly uh, specific cities that companies um, should be in, uh, or they're, or I should say, that they're ranked in this um, in this report. So the uh, one takeaway that I had uh, quickly reading this was that uh, the rate at which the U.S. and China are pulling away from the rest of the world in terms of uh, consumption. I don't think that's a surprise. Uh, obviously, today being March 8th, 2020, um, we have no idea what's going to happen over the next couple of months uh, with what's going on. But um, as of today, this is, uh, this, is, this is the report. What they do is they take 50, what the report did is well, they, they took 50 different indicators, 50 different metrics, things like population, wealth, age, um, political, uh, political stability. And uh, this year, what they added was something I thought was really cool, uh, urban air quality, which is something I never really think about, uh, frankly, when I think about shopping. So for the second year in a row, the number one city to have a retail store around the world is New York, right out there. Um, uh, And here, number two would be uh, L.A. So the two biggest factors that um, they say New York is the best place to have a retail retail store uh, for the second year in a row is really comes down to a few different things. So obviously the 50 metrics that they look at, New York rate very, very high. Uh, notably, they point out that the consumer rate or the amount of uh, things being consumed in New York is higher than anywhere else. And according to the International Monetary Fund, uh, Foundation, they, um, I'm sorry, International Monetary Fund, excuse me, the IMF, they anticipate the, that consumer rate to continue. And also the lowering of unemployment rate in New York is really um, is really setting this city apart from other cities around the world. Uh, they point out that uh, we do have certainly new neighborhoods that are growing in New York, but the stalwart streets, Fifth Avenue, 34th Street, Times Square, uh, are really the best streets to be on if you're a company that wants to reach global uh, destination. I really recommend you check it out. I'll put a link in uh, in my comments for you. Take care. Thank you.